respiration related mcqs how many atp molecules could be maximally be generated from one molecule of glucose if the complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose to co2 and h2o is 686 kilocalorie and the useful chemical energy available in the high energy phosphate bond of one molecule of atp is 12 kilocalorie students remember that in the question it is asked in one atp molecule 12 kilocalorie energy is stored here in the question it is given from one glucose molecule 686 kilocalorie energy gets releases if all this energy need to store in atp then in such case we need to calculate that 686 kilocalorie energy total release from one atp 12 kilocalorie gets stored so it means it is nearly 57.1 atp 57 should be the answer over here which is nearest value to the option given thank you the next mcq the three boxes in the diagram represent the major biosynthetic pathway in aerobic respiration arrows represent net reactants or the products now look into the pathway these are the three pathways of aerobic respiration so obviously this one is glycolysis second one is the krebs cycle and the third one must be electron transport system in the question it is asked the arrow number 4 8 and 12 can all be it must be the same in the case of fourth 8 and the 12 so fourth one eighth one and the 12th one now look that if we talk about the water so water is formed in the glycolysis but not in krebs cycle in ats water molecule can be formed so water might be the answer but it is not clearly mentioned in the ncert textbook that water molecules is the product of the krebs cycle now if we talk about fad or fadh2 and nadh so in the glycolysis nadh is the product in the krebs cycle nadh is the product but in the ets nadh is not the product the similar fadh2 can be formed only in the krebs cycle but not in the glycolysis and the electron transport system so this cannot be the answer so answer must be the atp as in the glycolysis atp is formed in the krebs cycle atp is formed same way in the ets also atp is the product so most proper answer over here that is atp in the fourth eight and 12 number thank you now the question from aims in respiration from 180 g of glucose which of the following is formed in the four option they have given certain gram of carbon dioxide and water but we can observe that in the option d and c 686 kilocalorie is given from one molecule of glucose always 686 kilocalorie energy is released so our answer must be from b or c now c6 h12 o6 plus 6 o2 gives 6 co2 plus 6 h2o and 686 kilo calorie energy get releases if we calculate the weight of co2 it means c plus 2 oxygen we know very well the molecular weight or the atomic weight here of the carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1 so in this formula 12 plus 2 into 16 it means 12 plus 32 is total gram co2 we can say but we have 6 carbon dioxide here so 6 into 44 it is always 264 gram it means 
6 CO2 is equal to 6 264 gram of CO2. The similar way for water. that is 2 into 1 atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 plus here 16 that is 2 plus 16 is 18 but we do have 6 water molecules and that is why 6 into 18 that is 108 gram of water. So from the given option we can say B is the answer. Thank you. Poisons like cyanide inhibit sodium efflux and K plus influx during cellular transport. This inhibitory effect is reversed by an injection of ATP. This demonstrates that. Now we have four options. Before reading the four options, we can just clear what is cellular transport. So remember that in the question sodium efflux and K plus influx is given it means it is sodium potassium pump and sodium potassium pump is an example of active transport and active transport always require ATP as it is upper hill transport from lower concentration to higher concentration. The first is ATP is the carrier protein in the transport system that is true but this does not demonstrate the sodium potassium pump over here and that is why we cannot select this option A. The same in the option C ATP is hydrolyzed by ATP is to release energy again this is true but it does not say anything regarding the sodium potassium pump. Then in the D option sodium potassium exchange pump operates in the cell that is true but here it is not mentioned the role of ATP in this option given. And that is why we can select option B as energy for the sodium potassium exchange pump comes from ATP and this is true. When we inject ATP the sodium potassium pump is carried out because cyanide always inhibit the ATP production in the plant cell especially at the ATP the sodium potassium pump is carried out. Now, Animal cells are suspended in a culture medium that contains excess glucose. The graph below shows glucose utilization under different growth conditions. Now we need to find out option A, B and C in the graph indicates. A, B and C are given at a different positions. Here on the x axis time is given, on the y axis ATP production is given. Here at the A, 2 ATP production is mentioned here. At the near the C value, the 36 ATP is given in the graph. We need to select from these options which is A, B and C. So remember that in the option anaerobic respiration, introduction of O2 to culture medium, aerobic respiration and supply of organic phosphate is given here. Now if we talk about A, 2 ATP production is always at anaerobic respiration. So we can select this is anaerobic respiration as an A. For the B and C, C value is exactly near or above the 36. So it must be aerobic respiration that is C. Now for the B, either introduction of O2 to culture medium or supply of oxygen phosphate might be the answer. So for the selection of the B we can think if introduction of O2 to the culture medium it is aerobic respiration. So anaerobic to aerobic conversion oxygen is required so this might be the answer. But we need to think over supply of oxygen phosphate organic phosphate also. Organic phosphate means what? It is in the form of ATP or in another organic compound which need to be added to get more ATP. So organic phosphate ATP should not be there. If another organic substance is added then ATP production increase. But we already studied respiration in glycolysis, Krebs or ETS we never add any substance from outside in the reaction medium or simply in the living cell. 
and so organic phosphate is never added in entire process of respiration from outside but we need to add oxygen we need to provide oxygen as well we can say and that's why introduction of oxygen to the culture medium must be the b label over here in this answer thank you now this question again from the aipmt earlier this question which statement is wrong for krebs cycle in fact this is the question asked in the need 2017 we need to find out the wrong statement regarding the krebs cycle now we should read one by one there is one point in the cycle where fad is reduced to fad h2 yes we know very well when succinic acid convert into fumaric acid in the krebs cycle fad convert into fad h2 so this is the right statement if we talk during conversion of succinyl coenzyme a to succinic acid a molecule of gtp is synthesized here gtp sounds something wrong but remember that when succinyl coenzyme a convert into succinic acid it is the intermediate reaction in fact main reaction is conversion of alpha keto glutaric acid into succinic acid and intermediate one is the succinyl coenzyme a it is true when succinyl coenzyme a convert into succinic acid atp is synthesized we know but remember that the first formed energy containing molecule is the gtp which later on get transform the energy into the atp and at the end we get the atp only so remember this thing the third statement the cycle start with the condensation of acetyl group with the pyruvic acid to yield citric acid krebs cycle starts when acetyl coenzyme a enter into the matrix of mitochondria and react with oxaloacetic acid to form citric acid but here in the option pyruvic acid is mentioned it is never so that acetyl group never bind with the pyruvic acid to form citric acid acetyl group that is in the form of acetyl coenzyme a must be react with oxaloacetic acid as i told earlier so the statement is wrong from the given below yeah option d there are three points in the cycle where nad is reduced to nad h plus h plus again this is true we know very well when the isocytic acid convert into oxalosuccinic acid one nadh2 synthesize when alpha keto glutaric acid convert into succinic acid second atp nadh2 synthesize into oxaloacetic acid at the time again one nadh2 is synthesized so in the matrix of mitochondria three nadh2 synthesize and that's why the d option given over here is the true statements